You are now listening to Hong Kong 2, the only podcast sanctioned by People's Republic of China, featuring Chris Lynch and Benjamin Taylor. Oh, fuck, are you? No. <laughs> no oh, shit. No. Okay, all right. If fine. you did, it would have gone everywhere. Oh, that's funny. You would have had. Don't you shake those. You would have got my ass. I've never had one of these. High noon. It's a tequila seltzer. What happened to not drinking tonight? That, that just didn't pan out. <laughs> well, here we are. Another day. And start now. And hello. Welcome. <sighs> what is this? 19? This is episode 19. Shit. It's pretty cool. 20? So so let's think for a sec. After this, we'll be on episode 20, two hours. That's like 400 hours of fucking talking. Yeah, I'm not going to... I don't know the math, but it sounds about right to me. 20 times 2, 40. So if maybe, maybe, maybe it's 40 hours of talking. I think I, I think I tacked on an extra zero there. Yeah. Yeah, it was 40 hours, not 400. Take. Yeah. This will be the longest episode so far. Okay, cool. I'm down with that. Because well, when I'm, you said two hours, that reminded me, sometimes we hit like the hour 45 mark <sighs> for, the full pod, for the full pod. Yeah. We can do that. We should hire some somebody to like sit and we'll make our videos. Um, we'll make it. We'll <laughs> we'll uh, stretch our voices. Oh yeah, like that's when, awesome. Like when you used to um, like resampling them. Yeah, like like you know in uh, school when you would uh, do double lines. No. To make your paper longer. No. Oh shit! I know what you mean. Like change you know the saying? line spacing. Yeah. yeah, or like do tricks to make oh, yeah. it, to make it like mm-hmm. more pages. Oh yeah, that's funny. Do that for a podcast. Just do the podcast for, for, it's, for it's, so it's two hours. What like talk slow? Like talk slower? Yeah, just manipulate the audio. We're not gonna do that. No, nah, okay. That'd but be, we could. That'd be stupid. The option's always on the table. No, yeah. Unless if we want to go out and party, we can just resample our voices. But now nah, we're not gonna do that. Not gonna do that. <clears throat> what kind of vape did you get? Yobo. V Viho. Viho. Stupid ass names. That is a pretty. That's a. I, you love that brand though. I always see you with <sighs> that with that damn thing. Oh yeah, <clears throat> I was talking to my girl this morning, and uh, this is like I'll, I'll say I want to say this before it escapes me. Have you ever how 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 often do you call things crap? Not too often. Like calling something crap. Not too often. Or just being like, what is that crap? They just like use it as a... I would probably say shit over crap. Isn't... what? What's your take on the word crap? It's not bad. It's I like... It's a good... It's good if you're uh, around kids. Crap falls into the same category that bastard does, I think. For you? For me, because the only people that I've ever heard say crap... You crap bastard. Like, you, like that's a bunch of crap. It's I like know, crabby... It's like, it's like old person yeah, It's jargon. like crabby old man, and they would do the same thing, like calling someone a bastard. Mm-hmm. It's the same. It's the, it's same. the same. It's the same set of swear words. There's a subgenre of swear words that are exclusive to the elderly, and crap and bastard are up okay. there. Or you're... Not, that, not even the elderly. Or that's a, that's a crock of shit. That's a crock of shit is so funny, bro. I have I have one that I say a lot, but I can't think of it off the top. What does this have to do with your girlfriend? Oh, because I was just saying everything she was doing was crap. It was I was like thinking about it. I'm like, wait. You're like, look look, look at this crock of crap. <laughs> this is a big crock of crap right here. Um we have topics that we can jump into, but That's a crock that's a bunch of crap. I think that might just be a bunch of crap. I think we should just maybe freestyle it. Yeah, like talking about the guy who lit himself on fire. In I think we should keep talking about McDonald's like we always do. Yeah, I think the people are ready for some McDonald's talk. <sighs> Just kidding. Okay. Yeah, the guy. So, what? What? How much? Do you, how much do you know about this? I saw a picture on Twitter. What was the scrolling. picture? There's a guy on fire. Yeah. Do you do you want the whole story? Self immolation. Yeah, self immolation. Which, first of all, they're saying that he quote self immolated. Which is a, that's just a crazy way of phrasing it. Yeah. He self-immolated. Oh, he set himself on fire. Yeah. Is that what you're trying to say? So anyways, this guy, and it's like funny too, because everyone on Twitter is like calling him a retard. (laughs) (laughs) Everyone's like, look at this total, like this guy's a moron. Yeah. That's another funny one. Moron. Moron's good. Moron's funny. Anyways, this guy, he's like, uh, he's like 28 years old. He's in the air force. He's he's uh 
Moron. He's a moron. He lit himself on fire. I don't know. First of all, I'm assuming he doused himself in gas. Probably. Probably doused himself in gas, and then he stood out front of the Israeli embassy in D.C. Yeah. And lit himself on fire to, like, protest the war in Gaza. And then there was a security guard. There was, like, an, like a security guard from the Israeli embassy who ran up on him with a gun. And they were, like, pointing a gun at him. To while, make sh- because he was a weapon at that point. While he's burning. <laughs> yeah, he's, like, a walking weapon. Yeah. That's but, pretty funny. But, that I but he's, like, he's, like, these these Jewish people are killing millions of innocent civilians in Gaza. I'm going to set myself on fire. Like, bro, what the fuck? Like, what, what is that going to accomplish? What kind bro? of a, like, what an idiot, man. Yeah. And now he's like dead and he's like, that's a bad way to go too. like that. Yeah. Hey, what's a, what's a more painful way to die than burning to death? Um, that's not probably a lot of things. But, okay. Yeah, probably. But that's probably up there. Do you, wasn't there like another pic? There's a picture of a monk who set himself on fire. I believe though that was in protest of uh, Tibet, like the freedom of Tibet. I think. I, I'm not gonna look it up, but that's what I believe. I'm sure that guy had a way better reason for doing that than our than yeah. our beautiful little Air Force soldier. Yeah, well, the monk was like chilling in a meditative pose too. This guy, I I don't know if the video I saw was real, but there's a video, and he's like yelling. And he's like moving around, like screaming while he's on fire. I don't know if it's fake or not. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, you don't want to see that? <coughs> I, d- I didn't want to see it either. It was if somebody made a Mortal Kombat edit. Oh, where, my like, God. Where the Mortal Kombat, the yellow guy in Mortal Kombat comes and like lights him on fire. Oh, my God. I didn't like it, but that's the video I was watching. <sighs> Anyways, the world is so fucked up right now. Yeah. Like dudes just lighting themselves on fire. Yeah, it's it's bogus. It's total bogus. Another word. Uh, is this Roku City? Oh, now we're talking. Now we're talking. Okay, guys, guess what? We got Roku City going. I wonder what, what they're advertising this week. Oh, look, Hollywood's in the back. You see that? Yep. There's an alien? Yep. The fuck? There's a... You're trying to warn us? There's a robot. They're That's to- in His body is the shape of a Roku remote. <laughs> oh, yeah, look at that. It is, huh? That's funny. Yeah, I can mm. design for this. Is thing. Epstein's Island? See that? Oh, look at that! A little palm tree. Look, there's Jeffrey. There's Jeff. There's Jeff. And then Jeff. there's Ghislaine Maxwell next to him. Yep. He's not dead. He's just in Roku City. <laughs> what? Where all celebrities go after they die? Yeah. Die. Die. I don't, I don't think they die. I don't think any celebrities ever really dead. The founding fathers are actually probably dead, but that's about it. Yeah, they weren't celebs though. They were celebs to me. Those are my, those are my celebrities, the founding fathers. How many how many presidents can you name? Uh, like starting from the top, any order. Shit, man. All right. Well, we got George Washington, mm-hmm. and we have Thomas Jefferson, mm-hmm. John Adams. Yep. Uh, I know there's Herbert Hoover's on there somewhere. Probably yeah. Dwight Eisenhower. Yep. Um, Barack Obama. Oh yeah, Donald J. Trump. Bit of a jump there you made. <laughs> <laughs> we got, it's, this is correct. And then we got behind Trump. We got so so it's Trump then Biden. You're forgetting like a, a president that you. <laughs> yeah, Bush. Yeah, 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 yeah George yeah. W. Bush. We got Bush Jr. and Senior. Yep. Senior was president. I think after Reagan. I think it was. I don't remember. I think it was Reagan, Bush Senior, then Clinton. Then Bush Jr. I don't know if that's the order. Um, yeah, it goes Bush, Clinton, Bush. I think. Right. And then. Um, and then in the and then the seventies we had. Uh, you know more than me. Seventies was uh, that was like I think that was uh, Dwight Eisenhower and uh, the Watergate guy. Fucking. Uh, what was the name of the president who was? Involved? I shouldn't have asked this because I don't know. Sh- I don't know shit. The president who was involved with the Watergate scandal that was Richard Nixon. It was Watergate. Watergate was Watergate was like an inside job where basically these four dudes because Richard Nixon was a Republican and he was up for re-election and uh, so the four four dudes like broke into the Democratic National Committee and uh, they were like tampering with documents I forget what they were doing they were trying to like they were basically trying to sabotage Richard Nixon's opponents and uh, they got caught and then the cops like started doing an investigation and they found that like 
these four dudes were hired by people in Nixon's cabinet to undermine his opponents. And then, uh, like, everyone in Richard Nixon's cabinet ended up getting a lot. Not, not everyone, but a lot of people ended up, they handed down, like, indictments. And a lot of people got arrested. And Richard Nixon is the very first president to ever resign his post. Yes. The only president to ever quit. And the guy who took over for Richard Nixon, I fucking forget his name, but he pardoned Richard Nixon. So Richard oh. Nixon never went to jail and never faced charges, but all of his like cronies did. It was a it was like hmm. the, the it was like a big I wasn't I remember it like it was yesterday. Shit. Well, good for you because I actually do you don't like American? Do you like history? American history? Um, yeah. I mean, I think it's cool. Um, you like history in general? Yeah, history is cool. Um, I don't know much. What was your best subject in school? Um. Well, I'll tell you, it was not English. No? No. That's surprising. Not English. Um, what math, was, math I was pretty <clears throat> decent at. What was your problem with English? I hate writing and reading. Didn't like writing, didn't like reading. Yeah. Math you were good at. Math decent. What was your what, what was the art. highest? Art was art was good too? Yeah. What was your Science highest? Science was all right. What was the highest math that you ever did? Tri- um, trigonometry? Yeah, I never I never Whatever came before calculus, I never did calculus. I think trigonometry is before calculus. Yeah, probably that. I thought I was like, I've always, sure I've always sucked at math. And for some reason, I thought like trigonometry sounded really cool. Yeah. To say like, yeah, I'm in trigonometry. I'm in trig. So I signed up for it and then I didn't understand anything. Oh, shit. Because I suck at math. And so I was in that class for like four days and I was like, yeah, no, nah, I'm not doing this. Yeah. I just thought it was kind of, I thought it was school like a cool. Sucks. Now school sucked bad, bro. Homework, I was, I was sucks. good at English. I was in honors. I was in AP English. I was in really? honors. Oh yeah. I was in AP Chemistry. My my senior senior year of high school, my English teacher was like, he was such a fucking prude. Like I hated this guy. He was like, what was his name? <laughs> uh, should I say it? Fuck yeah. it, Scott. His name was Scott. Oh. <laughs> and uh, so my my twelfth grade English teacher was this like short bald dude named scott and he hated trump i thought you were gonna say like his last like mr walters no i just i i refused to like acknowledge that he even had a lot he was the only teacher who i like hated i hated him and i wouldn't even i didn't call him scott but i also didn't call him mr mr whatever scott Beast. but i knew him as scott and he would like always talk about how he hated trump and like yeah how he used to hop he was like i used to ride trains when i was a kid I'm like dude what the fuck is your problem does have to do with anything he just sucks. He sucked. English teachers are pretty pretty bad usually. Like most yeah. most people who who go into teaching English are like they they're they're not very fun. It's people. usually women. Yeah. At least in my case. Yeah, I had I had a mix. My college English professor was. Oh, I had all of my college English English professors were chicks, and both I had two. And they both were like awful. Yeah. Did I ever tell you about how I had to do a privilege walk when I was in Maybe. college? Bro, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. And like the reading materials that they would give us were like mm-hmm. stuff about illegal immigrants. Oh, so you, it was during like the woke, woke, yeah, yeah. The woke stuff was happening mm-hmm. in college. Yeah. yeah. I never experienced any of that. I did, man. And it like, it was enough to make me drop out twice. Like, yeah, I'm not doing this. This is, ri- this is ridiculous. Was it during COVID? It was like right before COVID. It was like right. This is like right before COVID, like right before COVID hit. Yeah. At least you didn't have to do COVID college. <sighs> oh, dude. Schools post COVID are probably so blown. My, my college, um, <clears throat> I had heard stories from some, some kids I went to college with actually became professors there. And, um, they said that <clears throat> if you weren't vaccinated, they would, uh, you couldn't get internet access. Yeah, that sounds about right. Like uh, you wouldn't be able to get the Wi-Fi, yeah, or something if mm-hmm. you weren't vaccinated. I was like, that's insane. There's probably so many instances of that that have just been like lost to, because I mean, every day it's like something new. I can't even remember all the bullshit, but like the way they were pushing vaccine, like they were getting, they were trying to be creative. Yeah, um, 
Were they giving out Shake Shack in New York City? They were giving out, yeah. And then in where I'm French from, fries. In, in California, Gavin Newsom held a lottery, and <laughs> he 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 held a lottery where if you were, if you were vaccinated, your name was in the like the bingo thing. Yeah. And if he he had like this big, it was like a big display, and it was what's that shit called? Uh, the thing that spins the balls. It's a bingo, bingo thing. I don't know what it's called, but I know what it is. Yeah. And then uh, if you won, if your name got picked, you would get a fucking McDonald's hamburger or some bullshit, or like an In and Out hamburger. Just like the most insulting. Like, yeah, it's horrifying. Like the most insulting thing ever. And people, I f- I feel like people are actually stupid enough to go get vaccinated so they can win a fucking hamburger. Yeah, for sure. People are so dumb, man. Would you ever get vaccinated with the COVID no. <laughs> vaccine? No. No. What if imagine? Yeah, yeah. Imagine getting it now, not getting it for four years. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it's, then it's been four years. <sighs> That's fucked. That's fucked up. It's been bro. four years, brother. God damn. That's like a that's the entire time. That's how long you're in high school for. Yeah. For four years. Yeah. That's how long you're in college for. Yeah. If you're not yeah, that's yeah. a long time. Nuts. Four years, <clears throat> man. Holy shit. You think the world's gotten better or worse in four years? <sighs> um my life got better. Everybody else's life the world got, worse. got worse for sure. Yeah, everybody um, else's life got worse. Yeah, um, my life got better too. Yeah, sure funny, did. funny how that works, huh? Well, it's just it's all up to God. But yeah, um, yeah, I was talking to my parents about it too, like how about how how much better things were before COVID. Things were cheaper, and it just fucked a lot of shit up. Mm-hmm. Um, it fucked a lot of shit up. Fucked my vibe up too. It fucked my vibe up. Like too. my vibe was fucked up for a minute. Yeah. Like curfews, having to leave my friend's house to go home. And this was in California? Yes. Yeah, we never had curfew. Fucking that's stupid, nuts. bro. So glad you're out of that fucking state. Dude, that state is like... I was talking to my parents today. They want to sell the house and just move out to Arizona. My, mom, my, mom's, like, my mom's going to start looking at property out there, and she wants to like sell the house and get out of California. Not a bad idea. I don't blame her. Like That place is a shithole. The place We're, is a total <clears> shithole. <throat> Would she move near Phoenix? She'd she'd probably live in Phoenix. Yeah, that's where all my family is. I like Arizona. Arizona is a cool cool place to live. It's a little hot. It's very hot. I've it's I've, one of the hottest places in America. I like grew up spending a lot of time in Arizona, so to me, it's very familiar. Yeah, um, I only went once, and it was just very strange. Mm-hmm. Very strange place to me. I was like, why would you build a city in the desert? I mean, yeah, logistically it doesn't really make sense, but uh, it's pretty cool how they did it. And Phoenix is like a huge, <clears throat> dude, like Arizona is just a fucking weird, it's kind of yeah. a weird place if you think, of, you're right though, it is just a bunch of shit in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. Like, middle of the desert. But that's Strange. also cowboy stomping grounds. It is. You know what town is in Arizona? Tombstone. Tombstone. That's right. And do you know what gunfight took place at Tombstone? Yes, the... Uh the gunfight at the OK Corral. Yeah, the OK Corral. Yeah. I love cowboys, bro. I just can't get enough. I think cowboys are like the coolest ever. Don't look at the camera. I'm talking. <laughs> Good going. <laughs> if I wasn't a cowboy, I'd be a pirate. Okay. I was watching a video on pirates today. Like like uh like actual pirates. Yeah. They're kind of like cowboys of the sea. In yeah. their time. Yeah, 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 yeah. They if, are. If, like, the horse is the ship, and uh, your boots yep. your boots are just, like, cow- like pirate boots. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> your hat. boots are just boat boots. Still. Your hat is, like, a pirate hat. Instead of a cowboy hat. Instead of a cowboy hat. <laughs> yeah. I don't um, know, man. If I, was, if I could have any profession in the whole world. Instead of a world, gun, it's a cannonball. It's a sword or a sword or a sword. Yeah, or a sword, a cannonball. I, there was like um, they were, I was like watching this video and they were talking about how this pirate ship was trying to take over this other pirate ship. And I guess they shot a cannonball at the attacking ship and it like ripped through the captain's stomach. Yeah. And all of his intestines like spilled into his hands, which is probably a worse way to go than being burned alive, I think. 
Yeah. Uh, God damn. Yeah, sorry to drop that on you. But um, that's just how it would go. That's like yeah. a pirate fight. If you're trying to mount a pirate ship and there's like cannonball <clears throat> shooting at you, there's a real possibility that you could be injured. It's a pirate's life. You could be maimed. That yeah. guy was maimed and killed. It's a pirate's life. That is a pirate's life. Um, I would be a reptile. I would be reptile um, royalty. You would be reptile royalty? Yeah. What, like be a crocodile? Yeah, but... Or like the guy. No, I'd be the guy. You'd be the guy. That's, that's I would know about every dangerous spider. Is that true? Or are you just saying that? I'm just making shit up. What's your dream job? Come on. Dream job? Not even dream job, but like I'd be a cowboy. That's not really a job, but... Oh, like it could be fantasy. It could be fantasy. <sighs> Being a Viking would probably be, probably be pretty sweet. Being a Viking? Yeah. Vikings... I don't think Vikings had very good lives. Probably I think, not. I think Vikings were like, from what I know about Vikings, they were like, they operated in cold climates. Yeah. And there was like. But they were doing badass shit. They were pretty violent. Now, nah, Vikings were doing badass shit, yes. But actually, I don't know. I really don't know that, that much about Vikings. Um, I know they had like long hair. They were all pretty buff. They did a lot of raping and pillaging, too, yeah. from what well, I understand. Well, if it's fantasy, <clears throat> then I'd rather be in the future. And I would be a future me- Viking. I'd be a mech suit. I'd be a mech suit operator for when we have met the mech you mentioned wars. this. Yeah, mech wars. I would be in the mech suit. We're not shooting, gu- shooting like like guns in the mech, like Power Rangers in the mech war. Yeah, would can your mech fly? Yeah. How you're long? Basically a gi- you'd basically be a giant robot that can. How shoot long and can fly. your mech fly for before it runs out of gas? And it also giga there- fuel. Giga fuel. Um, the mech fuel. Um, about seventy two hours of flight. Damn. Well, in the future, they've optimized giga fuel to damn bro for, for maximum flight. I don't think I've ever considered the mech option too carefully. Yeah, because when people think fantasy, they go backwards. They're like, yeah, true. You could go into the future. You know, that'd be cool if like America degenerated to the point where cowboys could pop up again. Cowboys could m- make an appearance. Yeah, but it would be, there'd be like future boys. Now, if I was a cowboy and I rode past U.S. Air Force man putting himself on fire. You'd just keep on walking. I would just look over at him. I'd shake my head and I'd just keep on walking. Yeah, pack a lip. And keep I'd pack walking. a lip and spit. Yeah. I got something that'll put you out, kid. And I spit on him. Spit on the, spit spit on on the dying man. That's pretty, that's pretty morbid. Yeah. Okay, we have another topic that we can move on to. Um, pull it up. So yeah, that's the guy setting himself on fire. Oh, uh, when's the funny. first time you got high? Yeah, we can talk about that. Yeah, first time I ever got high, I was uh, and this is is like this is smoking weed. Smoking weed, yeah, nah, nah, nothing, nah. Um, so I was fourteen. That's how old you are when you're a freshman in high school, I think. Fourteen. Yeah. Yep. And I, me and my friends decided that we were going to smoke weed. And, like, I bought weed from this high school drug dealer. <laughs> and he, like, the way that I Naturally. got... The way that I got the weed was so stupid. Like, first of all, the guy ripped me off. He sold me, like... He sold me an eighth for 40, and it was, like, shitty. But it was the first time I ever bought weed, so I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. Yep. And uh, he get, he gives it to me, like... Like, we're, like, texting each other in zero period. And, like, it's, like, the class before the first class starts. Zero period? Yeah, it's like Whoa. I used to take a class before school started, which was fucking stupid. But yeah, I would have to go to school like an hour early at like six in the morning so I could fucking do this stupid class. And then I go to my just fir- you. No, no, no. It was like me and a bunch of other kids. For why? Because you guys were bad. No, it was just um, I think I was like making up credits or some bullshit. I don't know. I don't know why I had that stupid class. It sucked. Um, Anyways. Yeah, this kid, like, we, like, walk past each other, and he, like, it's, like, classic drug yeah, deal yeah, shit, yeah, and he, yeah. like, hands it to me. It's, like, yeah, I don't know if it was, like, wrapped in foil. It was some stupid-ass shit. Anyways, I get the weed, and, like, my friend is supposed to bring rolling papers, and uh, my other friend's supposed to bring filters. So we've got, like, I've got the weed, he's got the papers, he's got the filters. So we, all of us were bringing something to the table. So we show up to school, because we were it was, like, that week, and we wanted to smoke at school, because we yeah. thought it was cool. Yeah. So we, like go well first of all my friend didn't show like one of my friends didn't show up he like wanted to hang out with this chick and they eventually started dating for mad long 
So that, that was like massive L right there. So now it's just me and my black, like my black friend. I don't know why I felt the need to mention he was black, but I feel like it's important for the story. And uh, like we're trying to smoke this shit, but he didn't bring papers. So I'm like, what the fuck? Like, what do you like? How are we going to smoke this? And he's like, oh, I have gum. He like pulls out five gum. And so I'm like, OK, now you're talking. So we using a gum wrapper. So we rolled up the weed in a gum wrapper. And we smoked the weed out of a fucking gum wrapper. Yeah. Like a joint. Yes, like a joint. Isn't five gum like made out of like aluminum foil? Yes, I think so. I don't know. Oh. Why, I don't know what we were thinking, but yeah. So Damn. <laughs> I like rolled up a joint. Did you get high? <laughs> no, I didn't even get high. I didn't even get high. That's what they say. Like the first time, but, but I was like so embarrassed that I didn't get high that I was like pretending to be high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like I think he was too. Yeah, yeah. Fair I think enough. We were both just being little. little I was kids. fourteen, also. Let's let's hear your story. Uh, so yeah, I smoked with, uh, my friend Josh, who you've mm. met. Um, Good dude. I was 14, yeah, freshman high school. And, uh, we also got it from a high school drug dealer. Nice. Um, but yeah, um, yeah, it was, it was at my parents' house and, uh, we made like a, a bong out of a Gatorade bottle in a pen. Nice. And like a, a, a wrench mm-hmm. socket thing. Whoa. Um, and we smoked it like in my like backyard, mm-hmm. and uh, here, that backyard. It, yeah, <laughs> it really. I mean, bleep that! I'll bleep that out. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, at my parents. <laughs> oh, I didn't know. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, uh, yeah, yeah, and we. I remember getting high, mm-hmm. and uh, after that, it was like. It's game over. It's game over. It's 420 Smo- all day. It's 420. Yeah, yeah, all That's fucking fun. day. <clears throat> you ever smoke anything that wasn't weed? Crack? No, I've never smoked crack. Never smoked crack? You ever smoked meth? I've never smoked meth, no. I haven't either. I was just wondering. No. Um, what are some <clears throat> other drugs? You, you can smoke pills, but that's like crazy. I've never smoked anything. I've never other smoked than a pill either. But <clears throat> um, I remember kids would put like Coke and blunts and shit. Oh, yeah, now nah, I've heard that, of that. That's just retarded. That's fucking crazy, bro. It's nuts. That's cra- That's like, um, at that point, you're smoking crack. If if you put coke in a blunt, then you're smoking, yeah, you're smoking a, a crack blunt. Yeah. Right? Isn't that what it is? I think that crack I don't know is... How, I, don't, I don't know how it works. Crack is just like coke in a different form or some bullshit. Something like that, yeah. I don't know. I really don't care. That whole shit is so stupid. Yeah, it's crazy. All I have to do if I ever want to smoke meth is just look at like look outside my window at KP. Yeah, like that's what will wait. That, that's what's waiting for you on the other end of that tunnel. You think that's what they're doing out there? Yes, I. It's not. I don't think. I know. I know this because I walk home and I see them with crack pipes in their hands, like smoking it openly. Yeah, <clears throat> it's actually very gross, and the cops don't care. Like the cops don't do shit. They just they just let it happen. Dude, we live in a police state. Have you ever... Re- did you... Do you know that? Isn't that fucked? Like, yeah. We live in a real police state. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. How do we change that? I don't think you can. How do we change it, Chris? We operate inside of it. We have to change the world. We can't just keep doing our little podcast. We have to go out there and make a difference. Where do we start? I know. We should become cops. Yeah. Change it from the inside. <laughs> become cops. Yeah. Like that's the inside. <laughs> yeah. We can like become it's like not like the CIA. The we can get promoted through the ranks. Join the FBI. Join the FBI. Become spies. Topple the FBI from inside. Install a new spy regime. We'll call it Ben and Chris Ops. Ben and Chris Ops. And we we usurp all of their power we'd steal all their agents yeah. and we reassign them we discover hong kong three we, we discover hong kong three hell yeah if i was ever homeless though that'd fucking blow oh. being homeless is like the worst it's probably fate worse than death right mm. now nah, being homeless would be worse than dying you think so oh bro being a transient and like not having a place to sleep 
not like not no yeah. not. I knowing. guess it depends where you live. You're just living to die at that California, point. California, <laughs> this seems pretty lit. Yeah, well, like it LA? depends. It depends where you go. They're giving out like they give out like eight. They give aid out to the homeless, and they give the, aids out to the homeless. They give aids out to the homeless and aid. Uh, in San Francisco, I know they give them phones and shit. They get a monthly allowance too of three hundred dollars or some bullshit. Maybe even more than that now. And they have phones. They have phones. Yeah, they have like they have like homeless phones. Some <sighs> shit. Yeah. And they give. They have you ever <clears throat> seen like the they're making all, they're making TikToks and I'm watching them. Yeah, yeah. Well, they have like um, we had a pretty funny idea that um, I think this was me and Jet. We were saying we should um. Because they do be giving out like tablets and shit to the homeless. Mm-hmm. If we installed, if we like, if the tablet came pre installed with like slot machine games. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, I think we talked to this about this on the podcast. Oh, did we? Yeah. Okay. You can move on. But they should have something to do on their little tablets. Yeah. If you're homeless and you get a phone, it's like, what's the first thing you do? I mean, you need to have Jerk Wi-Fi. off to porn. Jerk off to porn? Probably. It's probably what I mean, a lot of them are doing. <clears throat> off it's so gross, man. I don't watch porn anymore. That's good. Got off of that shit. But uh yeah, if the homeless could uh if the homeless could watch porn, that'd probably not be good. They'd no. probably just be good. they'd probably be more What do you think China does with their homeless? More unraveled. Um China, I don't <sighs> fucking kill them probably. You think so? They'd chop your hand off if you steal. Yeah. I don't think that's China. I don't think China does that. What's that? Pl- isn't I, it? Isn't China like the China's not polite? I'm thinking of Japan. No, no. I think the hand chopping happens in like some Middle Eastern countries or or something. Oh, uh, like or it's Africa. like uh, maybe they don't chop off your hand. But I heard a story that you can leave a hundred dollar bill in China Square and walk away. Come back an hour later and it'll still be there. Is that true? That would be in like Singapore, or like Japan. Well, then that's where I would want to go. I would be down to go to Japan. I don't know what the Chinese does with the homeless. I'm sure it's, I'm sure it's like, I'm sure it's not legal. You get home. You go home. You find home. Just go home. Just go home now. <laughs> yeah, that's Just go good. home. <laughs> yeah. Where your parents? Where your family? <laughs> Just go home. <laughs> would you ever, you would never go to China. Eh, probably not. I would not go to China. Uh, not after uh, you know, like a thick layer of smog that covers the entire city. Uh, probably in the city areas, yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot. China's like a huge country, and not just oh yeah. One there's city. Uh, there's beautiful countryside in China. I was looking on Google. There's some beautiful countryside in China. <laughs> but uh, that's probably the that's probably the place to live if you're living in yeah, China. Out west. If you lived in a city in China, it'd probably be miserable. You'd probably not be very happy. Me, me, and you personally, first first issue we'd run into is we don't speak Chinese. No, so we're living in China. Everyone's yelling at us. I'd be like, <clears throat> "What you say? What you say?" Fun bungak shum. Oh no, she sure, she sure. Sure, what's your name? She be we all know we go. She 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 she. Dude, if I was born Chinese, fuck. Dude, how many how many billions what of Chinese? Chin- aren't there like billions of them? Um, Chinese people? It's probably like two billion. Uh, uh, I think there's like three billion Chinese no. people. I think there is, bro. I think they multiplied. Um, what would your Chinese name be? How many Chinese people are there? Hold on, I'm asking Siri. China has 1.4 billion people. So, how there. many Indian people are there? Yeah, my what? guess. A billion. You think less than China? I think less than China. How many people, how many Indian people are there? Wrong way of phrasing it. Uh, 1.4 billion. Same. Same. Same, same exact thing. thing. So if the Chinese and the Indians decided to team up, they could essentially take over the world probably. That's a lot of manpower. That's like 3 billion bodies. Fuck. Shit, we can't compete. We don't even have a billion people living in the United States, I don't think. No, we have a... I think we have like... We have a third of a billion. Nah, we have at least half. No. Oh, dude, are you kidding me? I think there's like 380 million people in America. How many citizens of the U.S. are there? Uh, 
Yeah, we're fucked. We're bro. very much on. We're so fucked. We're not fucked though. We're not fucked, but it's like, I mean, they could probably kill one American, and we could probably kill, like, like the ratio would be like one American to like three Indians, two Chinese people, or something. Yeah, I think one American could probably take out three Indians and two Chinese. But that's not how war works. No, but I'm just saying, like, generally speaking. Yeah, if you if you put us all on a giant, the world's largest football field, <laughs> what? and we played a game of football. Well, obviously, wars aren't going to take place on a football the field. The world's giant, biggest football field. Where's the coolest? That'd be, that'd be cooler if we if war was, we, you got t- teleported to, like, oh, yeah. a mutually An level arena? playing field. Yeah. I'd or are you gonna that. tell you gonna teleport to a uh like a stage. It's a like stage. it's like stages. Like a giant uh field. Like Israel fighting Palestine in like a fucking like Yeah, they just alley. line up they line up. Like an alley and then like everyone yeah, stands and around and watches. And they Yeah, yeah, yeah. They take turns. Yeah. I'm with that. I'd jousting. Be... Jousting. <laughs> Damn, bro. Bring back jousting. Yeah. You ever been to a Renaissance fair? Yeah, I did. I was I was actually in one uh, in middle school. My school put one on. What? Well, uh, I was like a I was like a friar, was like a little friar. Was it a like, fair or a play? It was like a school. It was like a school day. Every it was like a big deal. We're doing Renaissance Day. Oh, that yeah. I'm talking about. Um, oh, like a fair? A fair? No, I never been to a Renaissance fair. That might be a New England thing. I've been invited by you guys to go, but I've just always I've never gone. Are they yeah, pretty cool? They're pretty popular in the Northeast. It's just it's just like a kind of it's like a comic book convention. It's pretty for, cool though. I fuck I is it a comic book convention, but for people who want to dress up as uh knights and elves and like uh, I think that stuff's pretty cool though. Yeah. What, you don't like it? I mean, no, it's, it's fun. It's just kind of funny. It's it's very funny, but it's cool. Yeah. It's better than people LARPing as like Fucking ponies or whatever. It's like Pikachu. Yeah, 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 like a po- like a Pokemon convention yeah. or some bullshit. I wouldn't go to that. I'd go to Renaissance Fair because it's based in history. You think a lot of people that go to those uh, anime conventions are pedophiles? Yeah, yeah, I do. Pretty sure. <laughs> I have a hunch. I see videos of that shit, and it's like everyone that goes there looks so like the, the guys. <laughs> Older dudes, oh, bro, that dress up in dresses and shit, dude. For if if you're like in your, I mean, those guys are like what in their thirties, like thirties, forties, thirties. There's some, yeah, some older. Definitely not in their twenties. I mean, there's some, but I feel like it's those, for all ages for sure. I don't know, man. I don't, have have you ever been to one of those like an anime convention? No, they have them over at the Amica Center in Prague. They do like comic book bullshit. They do. I was walking home once, and uh, they were doing some comic book bullshit. Yeah. So everyone was, like, dressed up. I was, like, walking by, minding my own business. Some food truck outside. I'm like, I'm kind of hungry. It was, the, it was morning. <clears throat> I bought an egg sandwich. These, like, crusty, nerdy-ass girls, like, nerdy-ass anime bitches, <laughs> give me the sandwich. I pay for it. They don't even make it. They just, like, they just like hand over, and oh. it's, like, a sandwich in foil. And I'm like, I'm like offended at the way they look, and I'm offended at the way they gave me my sandwich. Ugh. I took one bite. It was probably the worst sandwich, the worst so breakfast wait, the sandwich. So wait, anime people were running the food cart? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was. It was like gross, bro. Yeah, it was gross. What's going on with that? I don't. I don't. I just don't. To be honest, I don't even like anime that much. I don't like. I don't watch. I don't like anime. I don't. I don't watch anime. Uh, since I was, shit. 16 some bullshit is your girl like anime no fuck no she wouldn't be my girl if she liked anime nice dude i would never date an anime chick that's foul that's pretty my chick foul. likes girl stuff like fucking gray's anatomy and pretty little liars nice bullshit you know yeah. me i like how it works anime girls are pretty morbid anime girls are so morbid and they yeah. they like i get i can't confirm it but i just know they all don't smell good yeah, probably not. They don't. I have. I. You're not, like you're not showering if you're watching anime. Yeah, and the teeth and shit. They don't take care of their skin. They got like pimples and shit popping out. Mm. Veins. I cannot stand an anime bitch, man, or an anime dude for that matter. Dudes that like anime are probably worse than the girls that like anime. <laughs> 
I think, I think as a man, like if you're watching anime, yeah, you may you may have either you may have either gone through trauma in your life, mm-hmm. or you have a very serious head injury. Yeah, like you got molested. Like normal normal people do not watch anime. Nor the average the average guy. Like if you picked if you had ten dudes, twenty even, if you pick twenty Americans out of a hat. I'd say probably like two of them watch anime. And they're probably fucking weirdos. A lot of it's big now though. Anime's big. It's back. Not like it was ever gone. Anime's big. Well, it's because they fucking it's like everywhere now. I remember uh when Toonami <clears throat> was popular, I, I watched like uh some episodes of Naruto. When it was on TV, but I was I didn't really get that much into it. No, I never watched Naruto. Yeah, I watched uh, I watched Death Note. It's pretty basic though. It's yeah. like it's like the, I think everyone's probably seen that bullshit. Yeah, I've only gotten into anime like or I have watched it because of like a girl or some shit like that. Um, <sighs> shit. What are just some other like? Is there any cool anime? I watched this sure one. There is. There's this one thing I watched when I was a kid. It's called like Elephant Lied. Yeah. I remember watching that anime when I was like really young. traumatized by it. <laughs> yeah. I remember watching that as a kid. Or the being gore like, in it. I was like, wow, this is really intense. I thought, yeah. it was, I thought it was cool, but I was just like, I think that was like the first anime I ever watched. We're seeing t- I remember seeing tits in it. Dude, the first scene is like the first, the opening of the series, she's nude. There's a lot of blood. Yeah, it's very gory. It's a very gory show. I was kind of put off by that as a kid. But, uh, yeah, well, that's the thing about um, the Japanese. They love gore and uh, porn. Everything. Like, if they if they can have something degenerate, they want they to take it to... love gore and porn. And killing squids and, like, animals. And, and fingering a squid. Yeah, endangered species. I will yeah. never, ever get over the video of the lady, the, ch- the Chinese lady... She was, what was that bullshit that she had? It was like a giant endangered dragon. <laughs> it's not dragon. like a dragon, but like a, a fucking iguana or something. It was like a comically large iguana. She had mutilated it? She mutilated it, cooked it. Like, like, dude, this poor thing probably didn't even have a soul by the time she was there. She probably cooked the soul, too. Yeah. In China, we can eat the soul. <laughs> the soul is the best part of yeah. the animal. That's why, they, that's why, that's why South Korea... The capital is Seoul. <laughs> Seoul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I see. yeah, they, they uh, in other parts of the world, this is how I explain it to my my future daughter, mm-hmm. other parts of the world, sometimes they make ouchies to animals while they're still alive. <laughs> yeah. While they're still alive. Yep. And it's just part of their culture. Show me. Show so me a video. Right now, right now, they took the fish gills and they turned them inside out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> The fish is still alive. <laughs> the fish would be screaming if it could, if it had the ability to scream. Yeah, but why don't they kill kill? The, why don't you kill? Why don't you kill the fish <coughs> before you mutilate it? I don't know. It's I don't know, fresh, honey. Fre- it's fresher. I don't know, honey. I don't know. Must be adrenochrome or something. <laughs> Telling your daughter about adrenochrome. <laughs> yeah. Honey, do you know what a dream... Dude, explain What's, what's a dream of chrome? <laughs> a dream of chrome? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Honey, it's a dream of chrome. <laughs> you, you fucking dumb chud. <laughs> you <fucking> chud cell. <laughs> you chud... Dude. Do you telling your four-year-old daughter she's a chud? <laughs> nobody, yeah. nobody who says chud unironically should have children. <laughs> Bro. I don't think I've ever met anyone in real life who even says chud. Except for, no, oh, that's a lie. I can think of one person. Well, we we we've said it, we've thrown it around like ironically. Uh, I've I don't I've never said chud. Yeah, well, so, I'm t- well, just tho- those types of words. In yeah, not ch- like based, red pilled. Yeah, yeah, zoomer. Yeah, goy. Yeah, it's all kinds of good stuff in that in that park. Yeah. I have to burp so bad. Well, it's what are you painful. waiting for? I don't know. For God to allow me. <laughs> oh, I'm jealous. I just did it. You gotta swallow air, bro. Uh, I'll just let it come naturally. Yeah, I I force him sometimes. Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. I'm good. So, 
<clears throat> if you no. if you had a wife, okay, your wife. Yep. Now, there's this is a hypothetical, okay? You're banging your wife, and you impregnate her. You're, she's pregnant. You go to the doctors. You get an ultrasound. They go, wow, you are pregnant. You're far along. You're standing there with her. <laughs> You're far along. <laughs> she goes, yeah. she goes. I'm actually not that far along. And they go, they go. Okay, well, we're offering a new service at this hospital. Okay, so for a small fee, and this is only. And, they, and then they look at you. They go, if your husband really loves you, he'll do this. And they turn back to your wife. For a small fee, we can, we can. Your husband can birth the baby. Like, would you birth a baby so your wife didn't have to go no. through it? But what if you love her and you don't want to see her in pain? No. Oh. <laughs> How would I birth a baby if I don't have a uterus and a vagina? Uh, what, like, uh, they can, they push can, it out through they, your can, dick hole. they can swap our brains and no, I can be can here? Push it out through your no, dick hole. of course not. <laughs> that was super easy to answer. Dude, can you imagine pushing a baby out through your tickle? It's retarded. Bro, that would hurt so bad. I'd probably rip your dick up too. Yeah, you can't do that. <laughs> it's not it's not it's not this <laughs> well, It's not by design. What? It'd be a trial. And they would, no, they would for small it. first of all. I have to pay them to do it? Yeah. No way. <laughs> yes. Well, it's only it's called the it's called the we're in it together package. <laughs> Dude, pushing out a baby no. through your dick hole would fucking hurt so bad. Oh my god. First I'm not even I can't even comment on it because I can't even <laughs> you can't I wouldn't even be able I don't even feel anything towards that. <laughs> you just don't. That's how outrageous it is. <laughs> okay. That's like saying, what would you do if you were an apple? That's how detached I am from like the You're thought such of that. An I'm not. I'm just saying. That's how detached I, didn't I am. I ask that if thought. you were an apple, bro. But I'm giving you an example of something else. Oh my. That, okay. That's all right. Different, fine, right. Fine. Well. Okay. Then you wouldn't do it. It is funny. I thought you were gonna say uh, <laughs> we have a new procedure, and it'd be <laughs> like, if you're having a kid, we can gar- for a small fee, we can guarantee it's a boy. Oh, that would be. Good. Would you do that? Yes. You would. You'd guarantee yeah. it's a boy. It's way cool. more late to have a son. Oh, dude, hundred percent. And then once I had the son, mm-hmm. and I had another kid, I would have a daughter. You can have a daughter, just not because then you have a son and a daughter. Right, just not first. I always used to ask my uncle because then you'd have then she she would have an older brother. Yeah, I used to ask my uncle like, what would you do if your baby was gay? If your baby came out as gay, and he'd be like, no, nah, my my kid's not gonna be gay. My first son will be straight. My second son can be gay. So he's okay with like a gay kid as long as it's not the you, first. You, know, you have a do over. The oldest. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, you, exactly. You get a do over, right? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck, bro. That was so funny. I've never ever envisioned pushing a baby out through a dick hole, but that's like painful. It's fucked up. First of all, the doctors would be freaked out. They'd be looking at you like, what the fuck is going on? What if a dude went into a hospital with no woman and a dude's like, I'm going into labor. I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> if d- yeah. If a guy just runs into a hospital coming. Yeah. I'm or coming. like a retarded guy comes in the hospital with a boner. <laughs> he doesn't know what to do. I don't know what this <laughs> is. Help me. All right, dude. <laughs> Bro, all right, I'm, so realistic. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <coughs> oh, shit, man. <laughs> Um, Would you ever abort your kid if you knew it was an, an autist? It's a pretty heavy question. There's only think, one right think, answer. I don't, I don't think you can do that. No. I don't think you can either. No. Pretty sure that's wrong. Pretty sure, though, in Europe, in some European countries, people do that a lot. Abort retarded babies? Yep. That's fucked up. Yep. What parts of Europe? I think a lot of, like... Developed European nations do that. Mm. I think. Chat, let me know. But, Shit, bro. But since America is such a strong Christian nation, the thing is, like, birth defects come from the mother. Always, pretty sure, because a sperm, a sperm is just a little baby. A sperm is just a little piece of white. Yeah. Well, 
It, yeah, it, it's, it's just, it's just an genetic egg. information, though. Uh, does it not? It does, but it like can't. I don't think a sperm can carry around. So it's all on the woman. I think it's. I think every every. Def- I can live with that. I think every deficiency is woman. I'll go with that. <laughs> I mean, look, I don't know if that's true or not, but I have a hunch that a tiny piece of sperm cannot carry a disability. A disability has to be grown and it needs time. It needs time to grow, and that's what a woman's body. That's Ooh. where the stomach comes into play. The stomach. <laughs> <laughs> well, where else is it the growing? The womb. The womb. That which Her happens- stomach is where you eat and <coughs> eat, and your food turns to poop. Where's the fucking womb then? It's In the right, stomach, right up, right up where. It's literally your balls are go up if you were a dude. It's, that's where you're the, well, the. Well, then uterus. why does the baby grow in the stomach? Explain to me why does the it grows like below the stomach? Does it? Yeah, yeah. it's the wo- it's the fucking uterus. Obviously, I don't know my pregnancy that well. Yeah. I d- I've never like. I don't think men are supposed to really know too much about that in general. To be yeah, I you. really I don't I don't understand. That is pretty magical though. That's kind of magic. Like you can come and say the chick and then a baby gets born. Yeah, like it's, a pretty ma- it's like a magic trick. Like, watch this new human. Yeah, but it's, it's not a. It is pretty magical, but nowadays it's like. It's becoming less magical. Yeah, I'll I'll think that's magical, and then uh, I'll see a TikTok where it's like Krishan Rock and her my baby daddy. Day. You know, I got. Yeah. No, yeah, it's pretty bad. I'm getting my food stamps. My baby daddy. Dude, these girls are doing twerking. these guys out here so wrong. I see. Yeah. I see shit on Twitter of like every day. It's like some new shit. It's brutal, bro. Baby mama drama. Bro. <clears throat> Fellas, if you're out there, you're dating a girl, and you don't like her, you should break up with her. Be single. Yeah. Or if your chick ever does anything that offends you, even in the slightest, you can also break up with her. Yeah. I wouldn't. I personally am not going to do that because I like having a girlfriend, but that would be, that'd be the way to go nowadays. You know, the viewers... <laughs> If you've been here since day one, they've grown with you. They went from single Ben mm. to Ben in a relationship. Shit, man. Yep. Wow. Well, I was, yeah, I was single when we started you were. doing this pod, huh? Yep. <sighs> Damn, how things change. You know, I love my girl, but if anything ever happened between us, it wouldn't be the end of the world. No. Just move on. Just move on. Do, on to do, the next one. Do something new. Start. Uh, maybe I'll take up a guitar. <laughs> <laughs> maybe I'll take up Ibanez. <clears throat> yeah. I uh, I tried to make a beat the other day too, and uh, here, not nah, my girl's house. And it's so, you're doing it over there now. Yeah, it's so whack, bro. This beat is well, on, so. Well, whose computer? On hers. You installed that file. Yeah, installed that file. Damn, yeah. that's pretty funny. I was like, she's like trying to sleep. I was making. What a are beat. girls' computers like? Are they all pink? Nah, they're like, they're like a dude's computer if it was not well kept. Like, yeah. like her shit has like crap on the side. Like, cr- like. Oh yeah, like the weather and shit. Like f- no, not even the weather. Like there was food in her bag, and she like, like the. Is computer- it a laptop? Yeah, it's a laptop. Oh, it's a laptop. I'm I thought like, you meant like crap, like bloatware, like uh, oh no 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 weather bug, <laughs> yeah. But I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> yeah, bro, chicks install like the stupidest shit. Like chicks wouldn't know malware if it fucking said hello to them. Yeah, my mom told me the other day she gave some Indian guy like all of her information. I'm like, what were you like? What what were you? I thought thinking? it was tech support. Yeah, she's like, I thought I thought it was legit. I'm like, it's a it's an Indian guy. Like I'm don't I didn't know. Like you are fucked. Did she lose money? I think so. Yeah, I think so, bro. Oh, man, yeah, it's pretty bad. <clears throat> they be getting them, dude. Y'all Indians need to. Uh, this is somebody said something on Twitter. It was like it was like a graphic of uh, it's like the dam breaking meme. It's like Indians with their thick accents, and then it's like the dam is like Indians learning an American accent. And then the town, the village below is like millions of American dollars. <laughs> yeah, for, for like scamming tech support yeah, shit. Yeah, if, That's funny. If, if like, <coughs> if like Vignish from India <laughs> decided could, that yeah. if he could like pass as John. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From Verizon. Yeah. And he called in my voice. But if he talked oh, like game me. game over. 
Oh, bro, hey, we would lose. Hey, it's, it's John from um, yeah, uh, SoCal Solutions. And then he and then he leans over to his friend. He's like, I totally got this one in the bag. <laughs> I got this in the bag, dude. This one's going to be in the bag. We're going to get <coughs> so much money. This bitch has no idea, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This bitch has no idea, dude. I'm sorry, ma'am. That was my coworker. That was my coworker. I was just confirming some details. Yeah, we're calling from uh, Carlsbad, California. Yeah, they think we're calling from Carlsbad. They're California. so stupid. How did they? How did they believe this? If you t- you start talking about In and Out and then to talk about uh, Baker's, <laughs> get a, get a burger and a taco. I know we say it too much, but like India is like India's India's really something else, man. Something else. I I feel like every single pod we do, we have to at least take one minute to just shit on India. I um, but they are they are claiming the shit. They are yes, they are very industrious people. They are. Uh, that's one way of putting it. Very industrious, industrious people. people. Yes, they are very industrious people. And some of them, some are doctors and. Oh yeah, dude! Some of the best doctors in the world are Indian, and Chinese. Don't forget. But those ones are the Americanized Indians. Yes. I think if you went to an Indian doctor. In India. In India. It'd be different. Scalpel check. Shit. Check. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Joking. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, yeah. What else is there? What else should we hit on? Oh yeah, my Earth Tones merch is waiting for me. Oh yeah, you must be excited. So excited, bro! Shout out to Earth Tones, dude. Earth Tones. If y'all don't know who Earth Tones is, he just dropped sock beanie, sock beanie, which is so badass. I ordered two of them in both colors. Really? Yes. Wow. So I get to go decide which beanie I want to wear tomorrow, which is very exciting. Not the Ben beanie, though. No, nah, not the Ben beanie, no. Nah. Uh, I've been, my beanie game's been slacking, bro. I've been rocking this thing, but... Yo, what the fuck is that? It's a Ben beanie. It's not the Ben beanie, Ben beanie, but it is a Ben beanie. It's one of the, one of the five that I... It's one of, the, it's Ben's alt, alt I, skin. I have alt skins for the days that I feel not like myself. When I feel more aggressive than Ben. Sad man. Yeah, I don't. You don't. Re- you don't really wear hats that much. No. Maybe I'll put a hat on for the Patreon. Why don't you wear hats? I don't know. I don't know why I don't wear hats too often. Hats are fun, bro. Yeah, hats you, are fun. You can tr- you can switch up a whole day with a good hat. It's true. If you're having a bad day and you find a good hat, or if you have a good hat, you can put it on. Make your make your good day even better. Make your good day even better. Make, make your, your bad day, day make day. your bad day better. Yeah, hats are like my favorite. People go crazy over shoes. That's like the big thing. It's like they're like sneaker heads. Yeah. And they collect like all they collect all kinds of shit. But I think me I'm a beanie guy. I like beanies. I go into the skate shop and look for a good beanie every week. Where do you think the word beanie came from? <clears throat> I don't know. That's a good question. What's the etymology of that word? Let's see. Etymology of the word beanie. Uncertain. The Oxford, it probably, oh, this is interesting, it says it de- it's derived from the uh, okay, etymology. Here we go. The etymology is uncertain, but probably derives from the slang term bean, meaning head. In New Zealand and Australia, the term beanie is applied to a knit cap known as a toque in Canada. <clears throat> interesting. And it can be worn by surf lifesavers and worn during surf sport. I don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Anyways, hmm. the etymology of the of the word beanie comes from bean, which means head. Which I don't understand. I've never heard anybody call your head a Calling bean. Calling your, your bean? Your bean? Like what? That must be like a European thing. Yeah, I've never heard that. Anywho. Anywho. I think that's about it. All right. Uh, thank you guys for watching. And we're moving to the Patreon now. See you there. Bye.